Right. How's it going, everybody? This is Carbo Load. Carbo Load and is back. Yeah, yeah. We got Cosmic Lumberjack <laughs> here. Oh. Yeah, and today we're just going to be talking about, uh, we're debating about which card in Clash Royale is the superior one. So, Dinger, what do you what do you think so far? Yours I'm gonna is. say Electro Giant. <laughs> Electro Giant. Most superior card, yeah. Well then, I was gonna say. I mean, I'm actually tied because I do play Clash every so often, but I was gonna say the Pekka. So we get, both right. got two heavies. Yeah. But I mean, well, why do you think the uh, the Electro Giant is uh, is is the best bet, the best call for your deck? Well, because even, so, yeah, he's a tank, but he also has a counter-attack feature. So right, right. it's nice, and to even when, if they put uh, Inferno Tower down, you know, he can reset that. And But like you said, though, Pekka is a hard counter to exactly. Electro Giant. What, what about, like, what's, what's, what about, like, a Tornado? Tornado, you're just, like, screwed. Yeah. Yeah. Because right. I, I, I do that method where I, like, kind of, like, use a tornado and drag him like somewhere else and then I my inferno dragon like kinda deals some damage to him. But Yeah, but then you could you could also say the other thing though, if I also have tornado in my deck for Electro I just Yeah, you just bring him right back. Pull, pull People do that right to me top. so often, it's so <laughs> annoying. Like I use the tornado, take him away and then they just bring him right back and I'm like Not like you said though too with the Pekka too, it I'll do a lot of times if people put it down. I'll pull it over to the other side so it doesn't go after the electric giant and the people start freaking out. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so frustrating. That's like a good combo though. Tornado like works with anything. Yeah, tornado's um, a really good card. But yeah, no, I feel like Peck is just good with the damage and that's all I really care about it, honestly. I mean, it doesn't really have any like... I mean, yeah, it only goes after one target so it's kind of like you need a lot of other cards in your deck or else you're kind of screwed. But I mean, it's just Pekka is just like a ghost, pretty much a, a ghost, or it's like a, a spirit inside of a, a, a armor that's freaking overpowered and badass yeah. as fuck. Super badass. It's cool. <laughs> also, too, I, one thing I'm really upset that they still haven't added all this time. Like as you level cards up, I think that they should look cooler. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they did add a. A little they bit need of to that. Add more cosmetics, I think. I know, yeah, because like, you could have like, uh, I think it's like when you get it to a certain level, you could increase some of the appearances, like uh, elite bar. Well, yeah, they have they have the star point. Well, it's the yeah. same thing for everything. It just but adds like not, a little gold onto them or something. Yeah, like a little gold helmet. Yeah. The pack gets. Also, I'm doors. surprised too because Supercell is usually big on that. Like, because I played Clash People Clans would, too, and they they add yeah. a lot of cosmetic stuff. So I'm surprised. I feel like it would look that. even better on Clash Royale. Yeah. And I feel like people, more people play Clash Royale than they do Clash of Clans. I mean, I could be wrong with that, but I feel like, you know, that's just like, you know, us, we, we would play. <laughs> I have yeah, never yeah. even touched Clash of Clans, so I don't even know. Gotcha. But they would be making so much more money. Right now they're just making money on the emojis, the emotes, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Which I just always want to get like the ones, but I don't want to waste like five dollars because I know it's gonna be like free after like a couple <laughs> exactly, of months. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, Supercell, you kind of like dug yourself into a grave right there if you're giving away your free content after a while. Exactly. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, what do you what do you think uh, if, if Electro if Electro Giant? I don't mean if if he was in in real life and he was <laughs> and he was he was a big giant. Dude, how would he? How would he look? How would what, what would he use his his powers to like? If he was an actual thing, he's an actual would... being with <laughs> with morals and goals and aspirations in life. <laughs> Other than zapping things. Other than okay. zapping things. <laughs> um, he'd be an electrician, obviously. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, obviously he's, he does good with electricity. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. That's a good question. Maybe it'd just be some giant that we'd talk about from mythology. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Like the the troll movie, I know that was like pretty good. I haven't seen that actually recently. I but, tried to start watching that, and I don't know. It's, it was starting. It was too slow for me. I might. I was uh, probably just not in the right mood. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I heard the ending was a little bit bad, but I mean, like, I still want to, like, give it a shot just because it's, like, a cool, realistic kind of take on Giants mm-hmm. in real life. But I don't know. I mean, I'm still thinking, like, yeah. So, do you, you think like, there's a bit, like, a Japanese warrior soul inside the P.E.K.K.A.? Honestly, probably. That's the best comparison of what they probably copied it off of. Yeah. So you're dealing with, like, a samurai and then also just, like, Versing like a, armor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it could be nothing in the armor. Who's to say yeah. there is? That's the uh, real thing. Sh- Even Super Soul doesn't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like yeah, so then the Electro Giant I mean he's compared to the whole Giants family, you know, there there I guess it is in mythology, but they do have a lot of I guess you know, uh, current like day things like they have the musketeer, they have Sparky, yeah. they have technology and stuff like that. So I, I kind of like that it's like a mix of like uh, the past and also the future. Yeah, but I still think the uh, the peck is gonna win this battle. <laughs> yeah. Well, one on one, yes, the peck wins, but. Depending on if we're talking about all right, so with other car, yeah, yeah. Obviously, it, it all matters on your deck. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. <laughs> but um, like, actually, I haven't been playing a lot of Clash recently. Just been too busy. Yeah, I, I just do it in, in whenever I have like free time too. But I don't know. I guess it, it really does depend on like how your gameplay style and like stuff like that too. But I mean. All right, taking taking them both out of Clash Royale, and if we were to put them in like a completely different scenario, okay, you you got basically Pekka who is gets distracted easily, I guess you could say, because they only go after one target, and then they're, they're the polar opposites, really, because the ones dealing with swarms, the Electro yeah. Giant could take out Zombie Apocalypse. Yeah. He just takes out all of them. Yeah, he put a skeleton <laughs> army on him, and he's... Yeah. He's yeah, I'm surprised they haven't had zombies in the in the game, honestly. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Healing spell on skeletons just brings them back to life, and now they're actually, like, people or something. I guess, like... <laughs> I don't know. That, that would be kind of cool, though. card? Something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if Clash of Clans has something like that. I know they're copying a lot of stuff from that, but... I mean, that would be pretty cool. They did mm-hmm. do that. Um... But yeah, no. So they they have different different uh, different pluses, different minuses. But mm-hmm. overall, so I'm just gonna fight for my case for the Pekka right now. We got I like mean, in general. I think that the Electro Giant is it's pretty OP, man. <laughs> Unless, I mean, think about it. what else besides. All right, so besides Sparky and Pekka. Both the P.E.K.K.A. and the Mini Dude, those are my what, two what, favorite. <laughs> what, what other cards can take Electro Giant on one-on-one? Yeah, all right. And it's also, like, if the Sparky's too close, he's also kind of screwed because then he'll get zapped. Yeah. Um, Inferno Dragon, if he's in the right spot. Correct, yeah, he has to be off on the side. Yeah, if he's on, like, just a little tiny bit, and then, and then you're good. But... I think besides that, that's 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 pretty much it. Um, a lot of guys can take out Pekka. <laughs> mm-hmm. A lot. He gets, he gets distracted very easily. Like forget yeah, the witch. you got a witch in there. But he's still it. cool though, or she's still cool. <laughs> it's just the damage. He's just like freaking Three take out a whole tower is gone, right? Yeah, immediately. So number one, you got the damage. It's overpowered. He can take a lot of hits. He can. That's also like beneficial for if you're just trying to accumulate a bunch of like troops behind your your dude. That'll yep. work out in the end. Um, what else? He's he's got two swords. If you get the cosmetic stars, that's also <laughs> a bonus. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I I don't see any any 
swords on uh, on your guy, Dinger. I mean, I mean, he has a fucking Tesla on his back. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's pretty cool if you ask me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, did he invent it or did he just steal it from like the Electro um, Who's the Pekka forge his swords? By himself, Dude, I'm, a blacksmith? he's magic at that point. <laughs> you have to assume he did. <laughs> I mean, maybe, maybe. you got to let's let's think about it. Like who came first? I mean, you got Mini Pekka. Maybe the Mini Pekka helped out. But you mm-hmm. got the Electro Wizard. Electro Wizard's a completely different person. I think Mini Pekka is also a spirit. Therefore, Pekkas are cooler, and therefore the Pekka is better. <laughs> Just in general. Okay, okay, okay hi. <laughs> <laughs> Solid argument. <laughs> Solid argument. You're Can, uh... <laughs> dude, dude, I mean, you're dealing with a spirit, and you got a, a giant dude that has some batteries on his on his back. I and mean, he'll electrocute anything that gets too close to him. <laughs> hey, I mean, can the Pekka take on the skeleton army? No. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> what about like? What about friendliness? How about that? Yeah, you never really th- hear about that in debates. Pekka, <laughs> Pekka's friend is a butterfly. That's how, okay. like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Dr. John doesn't need any friends. <laughs> oh, he kills them all. That's why. <laughs> Anybody that comes near just incinerates immediately. Yeah. He's immediately. a loner. Yep. Very sad life. It's <laughs> <laughs> disappointment. But, I mean... All right, I think you know which ones. Which one's like probably the easiest to make, or no? No, if, if that's if that's a debate, I mean, is the easiest thing to make really the winner of the argument, or is the hardest thing? Because that's so obviously yours is going to be harder. When what do you mean by when you say uh, make? Like if if I was to make a giant suit of armor right now, and then I was just freaking pack it, and then I just went ham. I mean, I could I could see that pretty easily. I could I could make a suit. I could I could find some metal somewhere. Be Iron Man for for a couple <laughs> days, just you know, chilling, swinging some swords. Yeah, going, it'd be a little hand. hard for me to uh, invent a Tesla, bro. You, yeah, but you, you got some batteries. You got some. You got some <laughs> put them on your back. You know, <laughs> you got right, tasers. We we have tasers and technology. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I can just walk around and tase anybody that comes within six foot perimeter of me. <laughs> <laughs> Can't taser me though. With the and suit I can just on. tell them fuck off. I identify as an electro giant. <laughs> Bro, <yeah. laughs> Bro, but like, think about that. If you're wearing like an armored suit, though, you can't even get tasered. I'm actually like protected against you. Yeah. Right? I mean, like, to I guess you have to find I some. I mean, if some it's made points. out of metal, you're completely screwed. So oh, yeah. It's zapped I mean, all over your body. <laughs> you know, what, I mean, I was kind of hoping that, like, isn't it like if you get, like, lightning strikes on, like, a car, then you, you're not going to get, like, and you're in that car, you're not going to get hit with the, the lightning? Correct, because is... cars have rubber tires. That's why? Yeah. Okay, so you're saying I need rubber. So it, it transfers through to the, down to the earth. Okay, so, like yeah. You. So then I would kind of be screwed, though, in a metal, metal, uh... <laughs> Metal, uh, yeah, metal suit. You're basically attracting lightning. Right, right. <laughs> well, that so that's why, yeah, that's why cars will get struck a lot because of the metal on the exterior. But oh, okay. Wise, once it hits a car, it's not gonna go through to you. It's gonna go straight to the earth. But I feel like wouldn't it need to go through you to get to the tires, or it just like no. goes around and then like once it gets to the bottom, it's like it just absorbs it or nullifies it, and then it's like all right, yeah. you're good. Lightning. Yep. Well yeah, then. Just, boom, boom. Nah, <laughs> every, your, all the electric parts of your car is going to be fucked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's going to be fried, but you'll live. But you'd be alive. Yeah, that, that's what <laughs> matters. <laughs> well, all right, I guess you win that battle if we were to recreate them in real life. <laughs> <laughs> but I still win the friendly friendly thing. Yeah, you do. If that's, yeah. if that's part of it. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, the cool factor. I guess that's up to the audience to decide that one. But I think it's still a pack of though. Okay. All right. So how do you think they just decided to throw goblins in there? 
Yeah, the goblins just came out of nowhere. I feel like they were trying to like just go with the whole motif of like the, uh, you know, the mythology, the the old old uh, medieval times period yeah. too, I guess. But that is like the only like race besides, I mean, giants. But like, <laughs> what else is there? There's just like people who know magic, yeah, like, like witches, wizards. Is, whatever, is electric... whatever the peck is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably magic, uh, but still. Is, machines. is uh, Electro Giant considered magic or technology just because Electro Wizard was the first iteration? And he's a wizard. I feel like it's technology because he has the whole backpack on with the Tesla. Okay, yeah. yeah. It's more technology than it is magic. Like, wizards are magic. Yeah, no, no arguing with that one. <laughs> yeah. Wizards are just uh, wizards, man. I mean, because I was gonna bring up the debate after that. I mean, we still can do the debate of magic versus technology, because you know, yeah, I guess you're technology, and then I would be magic because I'm I'm a talking suit, not even talking. Actually, yeah, I do talk if I'm Pekka. <laughs> Pekkas are kind of cool like that. <laughs> Obviously. Um, but. It would be like, a, yeah, a spirit versing technology. So, overall, I think that spirits are kind of cooler because technology is not that advanced right now to the point where it can be created. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm, no. Well, we're pretty advanced, I say, but All right. things that we like can imagine to be real are but, a lot. Like, super far ahead. Pekkas are timeless. That's what I was going for. Because okay. no matter the time period, they're always going to be there. Because it, I'm pretty sure it's just a suit that was brought back to life or something like that. But... It's just a soul in it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, in a fight, in a one-on-one, Pekka would still win. Because if both died, my guy would come back to life. Your guy would come back to life as a Pekka. You think? I don't know I if mean, that's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> you come back, it's just the battery floating. <laughs> one of the, one of the ghosts. When he dies, he just dies. <laughs> he just dies. <laughs> I mean, my guy is definitely confirmed to be magic. I mean, it's glowing. It's glow- glowing eyes. Yeah, he's got a glowing sword. Unless he's, he's another another race in uh, in Clash Royale, we don't know. It's <laughs> it's magic, something, you know. Yeah. So I mean, magic. You know, I I actually just played the new Harry Potter game for the first time. Oh, you that, was, that was pretty Legacy? sick. Yeah, yeah. Damn. That was pretty fun. So now I'm in the magic mindset right now. Uh, I haven't played much of it, just the tutorial. But it's like, I'm I'm really like into it. <laughs> it was. Uh, so my girlfriend's brother actually has it and he, we were just doing like the tutorial. So we got like, I don't know. PS5? I, PS5. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it was. And so now I learned like five spells. It's, it's pretty interesting though, how you can like kind of Assassin's Creed it, juke people out. Also like kind of combo. Yeah. Yeah, um, I heard a lot of people were saying they like the parrying system a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it is kind of easy because you already know, like, you have, like, a whole, like, two seconds. You see them, like, coming at you with a sword or something like that. And then you just, like, do something about it. But, I mean, I think the the magic is cooler than technology. (laughs) I I mean, magic's pretty freaking awesome. Oh, wait. All right. I win this. You'll win that one. You'll win that. Let's go. (laughs) Oh uh, well, what what else could we for the for the Pekka and the and the Electro Giant? I mean, well, they're both. We're gonna go down to like game strategy. They're both seven elixir, I think. Are they? Yeah. Okay. So it costs seven elixir to play both those cards. Pekka I mean, Pekka has a has a stadium. He actually has a stage, so that just proves how cool he is. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, You're... Pekka's just part of the Supercell's history. So ah. <laughs> so, wait, Electro Giant's, like, kind of relatively new? Yeah, he's, he came out, I think, last year. But, like, it, was he in Clash of Clans, or was he just, like, 
brought in new for Clash Royale. Yeah, it was just it was never in Clash Clans. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. Kind of unique. Do they have any other ones like that? Um, yeah, the flying machine. Fl- is, wow. Is strictly uh, Clash Royale mini Pekka. Um, okay. What else? The because I the spear goblins. Okay, so there's a lot more than I didn't realize. Yeah. I knew the, the, the battle healer was from Clash of Clans, mm-hmm. I think. But then, like, everything else... So after that, I kind of just assumed at that point, I feel like. Yeah, yeah. But that's kind of interesting, though, that they're just like... Now they're just like, all right, let's just create our own shit. You know, nobody's going to really care at this point. Yeah. I mean, but, they might as well. They had a whole new game to work with. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I mean, like, they tried making, like, another one after this, too. Like, Brawl st- something Stars or something, right? Yeah, or Brawl is Stars. that, like, a different... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I don't know if that that's did all... as, yeah, as well. Yeah, like, that's a way different game. It's, all, yeah. it's like, uh... They Search have, and like, Destroy, kind of? PvP. Um, yeah. All, uh, it's tough to describe without seeing it, but you're all... You basically pick cards, and you're that one card for the whole game. And you fight against other people, and you have like special moves and abilities that you can use. Right. So it's kind of like, yeah, it's kind of like Overwatch, I guess. Yeah. But like with yeah, actually, not that's as a good, much teams. That's a good comparison. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I think some of the newer Call of Duties also have like, I guess, uh, or maybe not the recent ones. I know some of them in the past have had like operators, mm-hmm. where it's like they have like certain abilities sometimes. Yeah. But. Yep. Yeah. So that's kind of like that. Um. So, I guess back on to the Pekka versus Electro Giant. Okay. If they're if they're operators, <laughs> <laughs> they're both slow as fuck. They are. But so they'd be tanks. I mean, <laughs> they'd be tanks. They would be tanks. <laughs> they would just be covered. Like you just put them in front, and then like the rest of your team like kind of like disperses. So I feel like it would be so, pretty easy to say what like the Electro Giant's power up would be. It would be like an electric storm of somewhat to protect your team or whatever. What would, what yeah, would the basically be? the Wonder Wonder Waffle DG two. Oh yeah, <laughs> just like <laughs> yeah. basically. Um, the Pekka, of course, would just be to be cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean that's tough because he can't really. He doesn't. He is like he, he he's slow. Weird. He's not like. He's not like mini pack. Maybe he can like shoot mini packas coming out of his ass. Oh fuck like, yeah! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> those guys go fast. You could actually do some shit like that. He covers his boys. He goes in front, flank yeah. the rest. You know, very good strategy yeah, behind it. it. You know, besides the whole get electrocuted instantaneously, but um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a little bit more creative. <laughs> I mean, they kind of the mini packers. They, they, the way they jump, they look like they're made of rubber. They gotta be. I mean, let's just let's just say they might be rubber. They might be. If that's the case. Do we really? Know? <laughs> There's no confirmation. Do we really? What know? It's actually made out of. <laughs> then boom, they can survive your <laughs> onslaught. <laughs> like damn, if yeah, like if the Pekka and the Electro Giant were mythology characters i guess you were dealing with thor and then Ares, right i guess so sure so with your with your background knowledge of uh god of war mm-hmm. who do you think those two would win well, that's tough because they've never encountered each other yeah right that's mm-hmm. why i thought it was like a perfect question so that's, I'd I'd have to go with Ares. Cause, really? Mm-hmm. Wow, I was gonna I was I was so sure you were gonna say Thor. <laughs> I would have to go with Ares there. Just Damn off All right. of what I know from the mythology of that. Ares was a fucking manipulative, crazy fuck. <laughs> and Thor is right, just, he Thor like, is just more of killed. like a big strong guy and his dad killed him. Odin. Wait, what? Really? Mm-hmm. Odin killed Thor? Mm-hmm. 
Just... Damn, that's in the new game, right? Yeah. Spoiler alert, guys. <clears throat> yeah, you water. didn't hear that. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> I... oh, all right, we're gonna have to put in a little bit of spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put a little no, disclaimer if you, if here. You know and there. Anything about uh, Norse mythology? You already know that, anyways, though. But like, are we really? That's how it always goes down. Like Odin always kills him. And like the official storyline of their mythology, yeah. Odin kills. Oh, wow, I did Odin not know that. Son, Thor, yeah. So, what's the the actual mythology for Ares? Um, that's good. I think. Uh, so yeah, he was just. Oh, it's so long ago. Because <laughs> <laughs> right. that, that, yeah, that's like something I don't even like know about. Like, I didn't know they I had, like know, actual like. I don't know if the earlier games were as accurate as they are as the newer games following actual right. mythologies but yeah according to god of war uh kratos kills Ares. but right right i don't that's but kratos that, is just made up for the uh for the game yeah he's not even like an actual god in mythology right no okay yeah yeah but now he is <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. um so i think that Thor would beat Ares because so now we're like reversed. Okay, I like <laughs> we're both seeing because our sides. <laughs> because basically, uh, I think that in the games, uh, first he he versus Ares and he's not as strong as he was, mm -hmm. and then when the new game comes, like Ragnarok, he's like a lot more powerful than what he was like in the in the greek mythology I, I saw like a video explaining that or something like okay. that but i guess i could be wrong um so i think that's also why like he stepped up his power level uh kratos but i don't know if that was just because of like uh, someone gave kratos a super power and abilities in uh the greek one yeah, and that's Ares how he was did. able to defeat Ares. Ares. Ares basically turned kratos into a god Right, right, right. But, like, versing him, or was that, like, another god? Like, Zeus gave him powers or something to defeat his son? Well, yeah, he already son. had, like, god blood and stuff. Right. But, um, Zeus didn't even know that he was his son at first. Yada, yada, yada. Then it goes on. There's this whole thing. Storyline that I won't get into, because it will take forever to yeah. explain. <laughs> but, um, basically... Uh, Ares bails Kratos out of dying and makes him like a servant and then Kratos right. is sick of this shit he's so, like fuck that and even though Ares gave him like anymore. demigod powers uh, he's like fuck that I'm gonna kill you kills him and he gets like godlike powers fully from there and he like discovers right, who he truly right. is this Pekka <laughs> <laughs> But the uh, the Electro Giant though with uh, Thor's hammer, Mjolnir. Mjolnir. So wait, does 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 Kratos like wield Mjolnir or something? No. No, he just he just like leaves it on the ground you and do. he's like, ah. <clears throat> Spoiler alert. <clears throat> right, right. You're, yeah, of course. You, you craft a new weapon. And oh. To, in order to defeat the Aesir gods. Was that the spear? You were talking about yeah. before? Yeah, okay. <laughs> when did, wait, I told you about it? I think so, yeah, yeah. Like you were kebobbing people with it. <laughs> yeah. It's so OP. It's so sick. Oh, man. I actually okay, yeah. just got a platinum trophy for Ragnarok. Oh, how did you get it? Completely, did you like, you that's to, like, like completely 100% the game, like completely. Even at, like, oh, all, like all the side, all quests, side quests and everything? All the hidden missions. Oh, all, man. Everything. Sad, I was probably so took much a while on the game, and then I saw it pop up. I was like, "Oh, there's literally nothing I guess I'm, left I guess I'm to done. Do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's when you know that. Oh, that's so sad. That's like when I was playing like Fallout, and I was just doing all the side quests, and then I knew once I did the main storyline, I would be like done with the game. <laughs> yeah, so sad. I think that that is why I ended up stopping playing it, but. I don't know, maybe I didn't even finish the ending storyline because I was just like, fuck, I don't want to stop. <laughs> I want to come back to this one day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Still never did, though, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, But 
All right, guys. So overall, what are you saying? Peck is better. <laughs> overall, Peck is better. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna need a vote on this. <laughs> yes, vote if you guys think it's it's not the Electro Giant or the Pekka. Uh, you guys are probably wrong <laughs> in your opinions. <laughs> Don't even bother voting. We think we Don't even didn't even <laughs> care about your opinions. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we know, guys. We know the best cards out there. We know how to play this game. <laughs> but this has been Carbo Load with Cosmic Lumberjack. And Steve-O, thank you all for joining. <laughs> all right. Sign up.